Om Shanti, welcome back to your own channel. See the soul, the truth lies within, and we are here with the 353rd day of a Kali blessing where God wants us to be free from all bondages. What are those bondages, and how do we become free from them? Let's explore that in this blessing. <music> Father says, may you be free from all bondages and experience the awake stage. Awake means angelic stage. Angelic means lighter in the mind. By staying beyond any attraction of corporeal feelings. Corporeal feelings means worldly feelings. So in order to be free from bondage, while staying in your household, that means when you are staying with your family members, your parents, your husband, wife, do not become trapped in any relationship. We become trapped in our in the relationships by worrying too much about them or being over concerned about them so much so that we sometimes become overbearing. We sometimes are so concerned, so worried that the other person becomes slack or the other person becomes weaker, thinking that they always have a support. So God says do not become trapped in any relationship by your own body. Or physical positions even in your thoughts by relationships by your own body bodily needs bodily desires more and more desires could be any kind of desires of the physical body so God says don't get trapped into this physical body's desires also or physical possessions anything which is around you if you lose them if they break and if you get worried you start blaming bondages are created even within family members, for relationships, in things, in positions, there's so, so much of quarrel, so much of fight which happens. This is mine, that is mine. God says that is because of the attraction, that is because of the fear which you have. But spirituality teaches us no fear. Let no bondage attract you even in your thoughts. Because if it enters your thoughts, then after your thoughts it would be put into action too. So if there's bondage to things, there will be difficulty in building up relationships. Selfishness will come in. So God says, with things, with your own physical body, you become selfish. I mean mine. And that's where relationships also get affected. But if you have no attraction to physical desires, to bodily desires, to possessions, automatically your relationship and your mind will be with yourself first and then with others be lighter. That's why God says, therefore, while... Coming into gross consciousness, that means while doing your work with in relationship to physical things, physical possessions, even this mobile phone which I am using right now, God says, do not be attracted by it. So do not be attracted by it. For only then will you be able to experience a detached and loving of its stage. When we come into I, me, myself, mine, this is mine. And what happens attachments come and attachments lead to bondages and bondages lead to peacelessness this is what god wants us to do physical bondages possess possessions and their bondages and relationships and their bondages shall be slowly slowly removed and how do you do that you learn that wisdom at brahma kumari's godly spiritual university so with this om shanti <music>